Presto Player by far is the best video player for WordPress. Let me show you the features. But before I show you the features, let me show you how you can install it. So first of all, you wanna come over here to your plugins and then click on add new. Click on search. And here you want to search for Presto Player. Now I've already gone ahead and installed the free version, but the pro version is where we have all the amazing, great features. So I've also gone ahead and installed the pro version. So after you've installed it, next you want to come over here to Presto Player. Now installing it is very easy. All you have to do is to click on Upload Plugin, choose File, and then navigate to the folder where you downloaded Presto Player Pro. And now once you've added it here, click on Install Now, and that installs the pro version. Oh, I almost forgot the link to purchase Presto Player is in the video description below. All right, so once you've installed the pro version, what you wanna do is to come over here to Presto Player and click on license. You want to enter your license key. So there's two ways of adding our videos. We can either come over here to our Media Hub. So if I click here on Media Hub, you can see I've already gone ahead and added video one and video two. So adding your videos is very easy. All you have to do is to click on add new. So there are several types of videos you can add here, including audio as well. So this video here is a video that you can upload onto your WordPress website. Now, I don't highly recommend this because this will make your website super slow. Next, we have YouTube. So this is where you can just enter your YouTube URL. We also have Vimeo and BunnyNet. So if I click here on YouTube, I can just paste my YouTube URL like that. And I can also give it a name. So I'm gonna call this Mac and then click on add video. So I can access this at any point while I'm working on my website. So now let me show you how to add a video on a page. So to do that, you want to come over here to pages, click on add new. So let's give this page a name. And for this example, I'm going to use the default editor. However, Presto Player also comes with a module for Divi. I'm going to show you that later on in the video. Click now on this plus button and search for Presto. And now you can see I have all my options that I've shown you a few moments ago. So for this example here, this is a video from YouTube. So I'm gonna click here on Presto YouTube and paste my URL like that. Now I can come over here to my chapters and specify at any point in my video where I want my chapters to be. Now this is a very, very good feature if you have a long video and you want your students or your visitors to your website to go to any point in that video that you specify as a chapter. Now this is a great feature for e-learning, like say you're using this on a online course website, your students can just jump to any point in that video. This is really, really amazing. So to add your chapters, you just need to specify where you want your chapter to be. I want my first one here, and this one here is going to be called Getting Started. I can move on to my next one here. So let's say this is at the two minute mark. So you can continue on and start adding all your chapters by just specifying the mark. So this time this is gonna be four minutes and then here is going to be download now. So when you take a closer look here at the player, this is where all my chapter markers are. So now if I hit publish and do a quick preview, when I come over now to the player and hover over any part here, you can see here it's telling me what this part is about. So I can just go in and click exactly that and that's where the video is going to start. So this is a really, really, really powerful feature and I like the fact that we can specify all our chapters wherever we want across the video. Now, let me show you how to add a video using Divi. So now I'm gonna activate the Divi Builder. I'm gonna choose Build From Scratch and then choose the single column. Next, I'm gonna search for Presto Player and here it is. So now remember we added our videos in the Media Hub. So I can just click on this drop down and choose my videos through this drop down. So let's say I wanna go for video one. So I can go to edit video over here. So to edit it, you want to click on it. And now we have even all these other options. So on this one here, let's say I decide not to have any chapters, but I want to add an overlay. So this overlay here is also pretty cool because this can be something that you can add at a specific point in the video. So over here, you can uh, add your call to action. And then further down here, you can add your link and you can specify where you want this to be, either on the top right or top left. You can also add your text color and button background color. But for this, we're not gonna add an overlay I'm just showing you how this works. Now, this feature here is one of my best features. I really like muted autoplay preview. This is where you get to set your video player to start playing a preview of what the video is about before the visitor actually clicks play. Let me show you how this is set up. Okay, so what you wanna do is to activate it like that. 
and then you want to click on update. So Muted Autoplay is really, really cool for marketing videos and any videos that want to reveal what the product is about before you actually click on it. Now let's move on and let's start talking about other features. So over here, we can also add our muted uh, preview overlay. So if you don't want this button here, we can add a different button here by uploading an image that replaces this. Now over here, we have our poster image. So this is an image. So if you don't want if you don't like this default here, you can just go ahead and add your own. So this could be a thumbnail. So let's add this one here. So now I have my image as my thumbnail. So as you can see, it's very, very easy to use, very, very easy to customize. So now let's move on and let me show you what else you can do here. So if you wanted to create your own preset, all you have to do is to come over here to add new preset. So what you do now is you name it, so let's say for this one here, it's just going to be my standard video player. So I can come over here to my controls. So I can decide whether I want to have the large play button or not. So you can see here it's gone and there it's back on. I can also decide whether I should have this rewind and fast forward by just disabling it here like that. Now, if you don't want the small play button, you can just do that. And you can also remove that and also the progress bar but it's up to you how you can customize this. And there's so many options here you can use to customize it. Now over here, you also have the skin. You can choose business, you can choose stacked. You can also use basic. Now I prefer modern, so I'm gonna click, keep it on modern. So back over here, we even have more. So we can choose behavior here. We can auto hide controls. We can also save play position. So this feature here is specific for, let's say you have an online course and you want your viewers to be reminded where they left off the video to continue on, this is really cool. I mean, you also have this, I think in Netflix. So this is a really, really cool feature, save play position. So you can activate it here. Now over here, you can also uh, add your captions on by default. If you wanted that, you can also activate focus mode and stick it on scroll. Okay, now let's go back over here. Now on the style, this is where you get to add your logo. You can hide it, you can add it. You know, you can do whatever you want here. You can also stylize your player by adding some rounded corners. You can see as I'm increasing here, my video player is now uh, with rounded corners. Now caption style, you can also choose how you want it here, whether it's full or the default and the caption background as well. Next, we also have other features here. So let's take a look at our email capture. Now email capture is good for, let's say affiliate marketing. So let's say throughout the video, you want to give away a freebie. This is where you can activate your email capture. I really, really love this feature. So let me show you how you can set it up. You have this email address part and the play to continue playing. So you can customize your heading text by just start typing here. Now you can also allow skipping here so they can skip to the next part. But if you really want them to add their email address, you can just deactivate the skip and that will force them to add the email address before they move on. Okay, so let's just add the skip here for this one. And then here we can add your bottom text. We can also add the play button text here. So maybe this is a freebie. We can just say download. And what I really like about this is you can highly customize this by, you know, changing your color here. So let's say you want this to be red. You can just add your color there, your text color here as well. Now on the email providers here, you can choose uh, Fluent CRM if you want to, but there's quite a few that you can choose to add here. Now I've already gone ahead and added my email list. So I can just click on this drop down, and I can see here it says freebies. I can also choose my tag and my tag here can be uh, free students or it can be freebie as well. So as you can see here, as someone adds the email address here, they are going to automatically be added onto Fluent CRM. Okay, so now I can cl click on create preset and now I can have my preset here set at any point. So anytime I need to add a video onto my page or onto my blog post, I can just go ahead and select that preset. Now let's take a look at further ways that we can customize this. So here is where we have our global branding. So we can add our logo overlay here and we can also add our color, our main color for our branding and then we can save it over here. Now, at any point, if you want to add your video onto any page or blog post or landing page, you can come over here to the Media Hub and just copy this shortcode like that. You can come to any page here and search for your shortcode block like that, and then paste it. And then I'm gonna publish and view the page. So now you can see my video is showing as 
a short code. Now there's also another feature that I really like about Presto Player and that is the analytics. But for this, let me take you over to my actual website because I use Presto Player on my own website. Now over here on my analytics, you can see I have my views. I also have my watch time. Further down here, it shows me my top media and how it's performing. So let's say I wanna take a look at this one here, the Black Friday video. So if I click on that, it shows me more details. So I can see here that 35 unique views and the average watch time was 34 seconds. So now if I scroll down, it actually shows me on the graph. This is similar to what you'd see on YouTube. So this is a really, really good feature. You can come over here and see how your videos are performing. But of course, if you have YouTube, you, can, you might as well use the YouTube feature. But if this was, uh, say for example, using uh, Vimeo, which doesn't have this feature, or bunny.net is where you're hosting your videos, you can actually see the audience retention here. You can also see the watch time. And this is what can give you ideas on how you can improve. It. So as you can see, Presto Player is a very, very powerful video player for WordPress. So I highly, highly recommend it. I use this on my own website for my online courses. And I also use this for my landing pages as well. That way I can see how my videos are performing and where I can make some tweaks. I also use this to build my mailing list by using the opt-in option. Anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think in the video description below. At any point, if you want to purchase it, the video for that is in the video description below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.